What's up guys, this is Juho Making Stuff and this time we are continuing with the bike build um, today's ch schedule is to build um, a box for the electronics uh, like I said in the last video that's the next next major step with the bike build and after that it's just uh, I hope that it's just uh, connecting wires and making the bike run. But um, we are not today in the uh, uh, garage. Today we are at the, uh, my home workbench uh, because we can do it from here. Um, previously, uh, I I measured the bike and. Um, uh, actually, I did these kind of uh, uh, paper mock-ups that uh, uh, I fit and measured in in the bike. Um, so this is like the side panel of the battery box, and it will fit nicely inside the bike. Um, uh, so this will be a template for the middle middle parts so it's easier to plan this and test it out before starting to cut the uh, sheet metal especially that I don't have any um, other tools available than uh, hand tools so I measured this side panel and uh, this kind of um, long strip that will be the bottom um, it will be something like this so this this was easy way to you know get the measurements right so it's a basic box let's face it shouldn't be that hard but then I got this to fit there and it looked looked okay so next step was to transfer those into metal and uh, here's the same kind of uh, side panel uh, this is the left side uh, I used just uh, hand tools um, to sew this out it's 1.2 millimeter thick sheet metal so it cut pretty nicely and um, I did the bending just by brute force banging it with the hammer uh, as you can see it's not perfect but uh, it's I, th I think it's close enough uh, it will be inside the bike, so uh, most of it you can see is just this side, and that's relatively flat and uh, nice looking, so I'm not too worried about that. I uh, pre drilled uh, these holes before bending, bending the metal because uh, it, it was so much easier. So the holes are for. Um, the attachment we are going to try to use a pop rivet gun uh, I could have uh, welded this but I wanted to try pop rivets because it's it, it's kind of I kind of like the system it's fun the way pop rivets work are if you are not familiar I assume that you are but let's check it out anyways uh, they are like a it's a like a hollow hollow um, cylinder or mushroom with a top and then there's a can you see that let's put some light there and then there's a like a pin going through it and the bin, pin ends here and the way it works that the pin is pulled this way so it kind of uh, crumbles this uh, cylinder and uh, makes another mushroom on this side so 
anything squeezed uh, in the middle will be pretty much fixed. So the way it works is you load this in here um, and just press. Let's you can, can you see it starts to bulge? It's bulging. Let's let, try to focus. No. And eventually uh, the rod will break out. Let's start to catch, catch it. Well, I'm sure if this will break out because there's nothing in between. Well, that shot somewhere in my wall, but you get the point. It will stick anything in between. So there's the shaft that breaks out. Um, I'm not. I can't find that anywhere. But that's the idea. And. Um, this is where I'm at. I just secured this with uh, uh, one and uh, two uh, rivets already. So, oh, not just the third. So I'll just keep doing all the holes through, and uh, we'll see how we'll end up with after that. Um, these are. Four millimeter rivets. So I got a drill bit that's 4.1 millimeter. So it's it's designed for especially for this uh, this kind of rivets. So there's a little bit slack to put them. I guess we can do one there live. So um my pre-drilled uh, holes didn't match exactly, so I'm just going to drill them through to get the uh, hole nice and straight. So then just put the rivet in, start pumping And it breaks out, and we are left with a nice solid rivet. I'm not sure if you can see it, but whoops, sorry. It's bulging there, and uh, it's really tight and solid fix. I really like this method. Like they kind of look cool, but anyways, I will finish this and. Uh, Catch you back then. All right, we're back, and it's done. Um, it's not the prettiest, but it's super solid. So I'm, I'm more than confident that it will hold the, it will hold the battery just fine. Um, I forgot to mention that um, before cutting this, uh, I made this. Uh, pre-drilled holes. This is for the these two are for the um, po power rectifier thingy that converts the power. Uh, I'm planning to put it outside uh, just to make sure that it, if it's heating up it will be uh, well ventilated and uh, can release its the um, heat outside. Uh, this uh, mounting uh, mounting holes and uh, this one as well as this one at the bottom will be because um, the the battery will be placed at the bottom so um, I will put a strap that will hold the battery nicely in place so these are the strap strap holes that that will just bind the battery in, in place, so it will 
it won't rattle and uh, maybe I'll put some like a rubber feet there and uh, so just to give it a real nice solid uh, point to be. So I have plenty of room here uh, for the other electronic components and uh, maybe some if there's uh, extra wire or something that I can just loom around here and uh, maybe throw in a couple of necessary tools or something like that so uh, it'll it'll hold up really nice. Um, it's heavier than I thought there's uh, quite a lot of metal so on, on the hind side uh, maybe I could have done this just a tiny bit thinner metal but uh, I'm not optimizing the weight anyway so it's not that big of a deal so um, it's it's not the prettiest thing there is but um, it's functional hopefully and uh, maybe I could have got it uh, maybe a bit nicer when with welding but um, I really like the in kind of uh, industrial look of the bent corners and uh, the rivets. Uh, then again, this will be pretty much hidden inside the bike. Uh, of course, painted in black. So uh, all this stuff will be hidden. Uh, this will be against the motor and uh, this will be at the bottom. and. Uh, uh, I guess this is the most exposed part, but that's that's again mostly covered behind the wheel, and um, uh, probably muddy because this will be uh, pretty much straight in contact with the wheel. I may put some kind of a, a protecting film on this, so because basically it will be sandblasted with with the tire kicking up mud and uh, all, all that crap so I may put some kind of a cover here just just to uh, keep the paint nice uh, the one that's uh, uh, mountain bikes use that kind of a film what I know so I, I will be using that but anyways um, this is my battery box uh, I will just to make sure uh, check that it fits the bike and um, if there's any uh, cuts to be made so I, I'll, I'll do those um, and then it's off to paint I will paint them just with uh, basic spray paints um, but yeah let's get back to the build Okay, here we are with the final battery box. Uh, got it fit there and uh, some of the wiring going on there. Um, let me focus it. There we go. Um, it's not the prettiest battery box, but um, it's working and um, it's not so noticeable when the uh, we have the seat and the tank on, so it's just a black black part on, on the bike. So I'm pretty happy how it turned out. Had to do some um, minor adjustments to it before I uh, got it fitting, um, but overall it went on quite well. Let's see, oh, there's. Not enough light there, but anyways, uh, it was quite a tight fit on a couple of places. Let me focus there, uh, but yeah, a bit of brute force and uh, got it, got it there. But yeah, that's how you do a battery box out of sheet metal with bare hands. But pretty much uh, it's, it's a bit dirty but once cleaned I think it's it's going to be fine 
uh, one problem that I had was um, uh, there's plenty of room for battery there, but uh, I didn't consider this space, so um, I had to get uh, a bit uh, thinner battery, but that wasn't a problem because uh, I was going to replace the old, old ones anyway. So I got a, a bit slimmer battery, it's taller, but there's a lo lot of room there, so, so that'll be fine. But but yeah, a slight uh, design failure there, because if I were to go with the uh, 15 centimeter uh, white battery, then to change the battery, I would have to uh, remove the box first. But to remove the box, I need to remove the back tire. And uh, uh, that's not the most convenient way uh, to remove a battery, I think. So, especially if you're on the side of the road and you're, for some reason, you're, you have to replace your battery. So, uh, that would be pretty much impossible. So, but things are fixed with the slimmer battery. And um, well, I'll get back at the work with these wire things. That's not the prettiest. But yeah, um, that's the battery box. Um, next up, electronics. I can show you my pretty cool um, meter that I'm going to get. It's here, focus. No, come on. Oh, close enough. It's a COSO um, meter. There's a tachyometer and speeder meter at the same same thing, so it'll be pretty sweet. Just a like a single cage gauge there, so that'll be fun. And uh, have to figure out how to do that. The wiring, and uh, um, I also want a thermostat in here, so just to troubleshoot the bike if there's anything wrong. Uh, still have to figure it out. I'm thinking of using COSO's uh, Super Slim, like um, it's a digital gauge, but it's it's pretty small, so I can hide it somewhere behind behind the handlebar. Um, I'm also thinking of doing a um, like um, fly screen here at the front. Um, not sure, totally sure how, how I am going to do it, but I am thinking of uh, doing doing it from plexiglass and then painting it black because I can uh, bend bend the plexiglass a bit or the plastic a bit, so uh, I will get uh, like a round surface at the front here. So, but. Um, Still need to figure out how to do it and um, how to mount it. I have a couple of holes there. So I'm going to build a mount for the spirometer and uh, probably use the same mount for the wind uh, fly screen. But uh, I'll probably need to have a, another support it. So I guess this could be good place for it. I have like a two extra holes in the uh, lamps, lamp clamps. So, well, yeah, anyways, uh, I have to figure out that stuff out, but I guess that's another episode of this build. So this was the battery box build. We got it done. Let's move on. Exotica.